I'm going to go through this example problem dealing with partial molar volume of a binary mixture. The problem gives us a binary system of species A and B at constant temperature and pressure, and it gives us an expression for the molar volume in centimeters cubed per mole. In part A, it asks us what is the pure species molar volumes for species A. To find this, all we have to do is solve the molar volume of the mixture where YA is equal to 1 and YB is equal to 0. If we plug that in, we'll get that the pure species molar volume for species A is 100 centimeters cubed per mole. For part B, it says come up with an expression for the partial molar volume of species A in terms of YB, and it asks what is the partial molar volume at infinite dilution. To find an expression for the partial molar volume of species A, I'm going to use the definition of partial molar volume, which is the partial derivative of volume with respect to moles of A at constant temperature, pressure, and moles of B. So in this expression that we're going to use here, this V right here is total volume. So we're going to have to multiply this expression for molar volume we're given up here by the total moles, which is going to be Na plus Nb. To simplify this expression for the total volume even further, I'm going to use the fact that Ya is equal to Na over Na plus Nb, and Yb is equal to Nb over Na plus Nb. From here, we can cancel out some of the Na plus Nb terms. Now that this expression is easier to work with, we can substitute it in up here and take the partial derivative with respect to Na to get Va bar. When you're taking the derivative of this expression, you're going to have to take the partial derivative of this right here, and to do this you're going to have to use the quotient rule. After taking the quotient rule, you get this as the derivative. And if you notice right here, Nb over Na plus Nb is equal to Yb. And this term right here, if you split it up to Na over Na plus Nb times Nb over Na plus Nb, this is the same thing as Ya times Yb. So we can write this out in just terms of Ya and Yb. In the problem statement, it said that it wanted the expression in terms of just constants and yb, so I'm going to substitute in 1 minus yb for ya because the sum of the mole fractions must equal 1. Now that we have it in terms of just yb, we can plug this derivative back into the expression that we had up here to get the final answer for the partial molar volume of a. So the final answer is the partial molar volume of a is equal to 100 plus 3yb squared. Next, it asks us to find the partial molar volume at infinite dilution. So to get the partial molar volume at infinite dilution, we're going to take the limit of the partial molar volume of A as Ya goes to 0. So as Ya goes to 0, Yb is going to go to 1. So all you're going to do is plug in 1 for Yb in this expression. So our final answer for the partial molar volume of A at infinite dilution is 103 centimeters cubed per mole. So the last thing the problem asks is the volume change of mixing be greater than, equal to, or less than zero and explain. So to find a change in mixing, we need to find the change in the partial molar volume of A and the pure species molar volume of A. So in part A, we found that the pure species molar volume of A is 100 centimeters cubed per mole. And we found this expression for the partial molar volume of A of 100 plus 3 Yb squared. For any binary mixture, this value right here of Yb is going to be between 0 and 1. And when Yb is between 0 and 1, the value of V bar A is always going to be greater than 100. So the difference between V bar A and the pure molar species volume of A is always going to be greater than zero. So the answer for part C is that the change is going to be greater than zero. I hope you learned something from this video and that it helped you understand how to solve the problem. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll be posting weekly videos for homework help in Kimmy 211 at Purdue University.